In this uh, video cast, we're going to review the anterior trunk muscles. I apologize if you hear trains in the background. There's absolutely nowhere in Vincennes you can go to record without hearing them. So you just have to get used to it. I'm going to go through the anterior trunk muscles that you have listed in your lap packet. I'm going to use this picture as well as this picture, which comes from the cadaver abdomen. Let's start with the deltoid. The deltoid muscle is located here. It's actually a pretty large muscle. It attaches on that deltoid tuberosity you learned about in bones. Then we have the pectoralis major, which is the superficial muscle. When you look at these, remember that this side is the superficial muscles. This side, they've taken those muscles off, so you're looking at the deeper set of muscles. So again, you have the pectoralis major here. Underneath it, the more deep muscle, the pectoralis minor. You also have the muscle called the serratus anterior, which is on the lateral aspect of the, of the body. You can see it here and here. If you remember, a serrated knife has ridges, and you see those same kind of ridges on this muscle. Then we have the intercostal muscles, which are between the ribs. They go in two different directions. The external intercostals go in this direction. And then over here, which again, when you look at the torso, you can see it better in person, they've cut out the superficial muscles, and you see the internal intercostals, and they go in the opposite direction. They go in the opposite direction. So you have the external intercostals and the internal intercostals. The diaphragm you did in the first lab, remember it's a domed muscle that separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal pelvic cavity. And then we have the four layers of the abdominal muscles. Here you have the rectus abdominis, which are commonly called the abs, but you can't call them that. You got to call them the rectus abdominis. And then you have the superficial oblique muscles, the external obliques, whose fibers go in this direction. Now underneath those, which you can't see on this model, you have the internal obliques, and they go, the fibers go in this direction. The fourth layer, the deepest layer, is the transversus abdominis, and they go in this direction. So remember the transverse plane, these fibers run in that same direction. So the external obliques are the most superficial, then you have the internal obliques whose fibers go in the opposite direction, and then you have the transversus abdominis. Just a little fact, when you talk about uh, back health, they always talk about how your core, the most important muscle to actually develop to support your back is these transverse abdominis muscles, which curl ups and those kind of things don't really work that muscle. You usually have to go to physical therapist or do a little bit of research on how to strengthen that transverse abdominis. It's going to hold and steady your stomach to put less pressure on your back. Okay, let me go through those again. We have the deltoid, we have the pectoralis major, we have the pectoralis minor, the serratus anterior, which runs on the lateral portion. We have the intercostals, the external intercostals run in this direction. The internal intercostals run in the opposite direction. You have the diaphragm. You have the rectus abdominis, the external obliques, the internal oblique, again, which you can't see on this model, and then the deepest of the abdominal muscles, the transversus abdominis. Let me go to this model, the cadaver, just to show you so you can see some of these layers. Here's your rectus abdominis. Here is your external oblique. Here they've cut off the superficial layer and you can see the internal oblique. And then if you look at this, and this you got to really look at the cadaver up close, where the chest cavity is pulled, we're looking right in here, and you can see, you can see the different layers. You can see the external obliques, you can see the internal obliques, and then you can actually see the transverse, transversus abdominis in this layer. So again, to see this, you have to come and look at this open chest cavity and look right in here in order to see those layers. All right, let's go through those muscles again. Pec uh, deltoid, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor serratus anterior, external intercostals, internal intercostals, the diaphragm, rectus abdominis, external oblique, 
internal oblique and transversus abdominis. One more time. Deltoid, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, serratus anterior, external intercostals, internal intercostals, diaphragm, rectus abdominis, external obliques, internal obliques, transversus abdominis. One more time. Deltoid, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, serratus anterior, external intercostals, internal intercostals, diaphragm, rectus abdominis, external oblique, internal oblique, and transversus abdominis. This time I'm going to point to the muscle and you're going to say it. You're going to say it. Again, by saying it, you're more likely to spell it correctly. So here we go. Okay, by the time you get to the test, you may have needed your list on that at that time. But by the end of the test, or by the time you get to the test, you should be able to identify those muscles and save them through that segment without looking at your list. And again, you need to make sure you practice their spelling. Just real quick again on the cadaver abdomen. Remember, you got the rectus abdominis. You've got the external obliques. You can actually see the internal obliques. When you look here, you can see the layers, the external oblique the internal oblique, and the transversus abdominis. Again, review and practice.